<laughs> Took a perch near my door. Near the, like the uh door to the other room. I wouldn't be able to get up and get it in a timely manner though. Like if I give myself one animation to do this, or like an attack animation, I would not be able to do it. I would also, it would probably also run away. And I would just make noise for no reason. Maybe it'll stay there for the duration of my, uh, recording session, and then I could squash it. I also like to fly up on my TV, and that's super annoying. Because then I gotta wait for that or into my light bulb. So I hope those guys aren't gonna try and fight me. It's like super annoying when they fly into my light bulb, because I think I'm about to be descended upon by some kind of monster. And it's like a moth half the size of the one I'm looking at. And I'm like, oh, well, that's just frustrating. There've also been a couple times where they've just flown straight into me while I'm like playing a game, and I'm like, this is just stupid. I hate you. I guess we'll get off my frustration about the moths thing and focus more on the game. Oh, nice. A, right, a regular shot of 20. That's not too bad. I hope these guys just let me go. I hope they're just in the background. Oversized blades are perfect for killing vermin of unnatural girth. There we go. Can I talk to you? You might want to count these bandits' fingers. You can't trust a man with too many fingers. Oh, also nice. I love all of these references. They're great. Roberts, <laughs> like the right pirate. God, I love this game. So you said that you were Lee? There, so they said you were Lee? Yes, Wesley. Didn't you do that thing for, uh, what's his name? The guy you met in that one town? Yeah, that's the one. That was Max, alright. He's really good at getting things done. A miracle man. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I do, I do. Say, how's about you help me with a little job I've got in the works? Er, uh, sure. What do you think you're doing? What did you just agree to? Shh, trust me. What do you have in mind? So what did you have in mind, Drady? Well, you know the one king... The one with the daughters. What about them? I heard he's going to fa going to be in some fortress in the woods near Falcon Reach. You mean Oaklor Keep? That's the one. Anyways, I figured the life of the bandit chief is pretty swanky with the robbing and the plundering and all, but I figured if I could grab me a princess, I could ransom some serious loot out of her daddy. So you're going to kidnap the pr one of the princesses? Is this the part where you? T <laughs> hey, yep, and you two are really, and you two are gonna help. Is this the part where you tell him who you really are? Because I don't think this is how you want to get noticed by his highness. Dreddy, I'd love to help you. I would. There's just one little problem. What's that? My name is Sir Anno de Berlach, <laughs> and you're planning, and you're planning to kidnap my princess. Oh, nice, Sir Anno de Berlach. <laughs> I really wish I knew how to say that, right? You're planning to kidnap my princess. Prepare to die. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Dread Bandit Roberts. God, I love this game. <laughs> oh, he resisted the immobility effect. That's not good. 
of all these boss fights I've had to do with this dude so far, I have not had any of them resist the immobility effect. Being stunned for three turns really helps me um, close the gap between their the twice the amount of HP that they have. Moth is still in the same position. I swear to God, right after I'm done with this quest, or well, right after I'm done with this quest and outro of the video, it is toast. Your, your head will be mine, Moth, and the rest of your body will just kind of be smeared on the door. Nice. 36 isn't too shabby at all. 36 isn't too shabby at all. Alright. You know what? We'll throw a tangle at him. See if we hit some... Alright. So that does a pretty solid amount of damage for what it is. Nice. 46 isn't too shabby at all either. It's like overall 53 or 55. Ouch! 32! That's not shabby either, but you're on the wrong side of the screen, man. Alright, we can still we can still handle this. I still got two potions. I think, right? I think I just kinda held out until I got my healing pad in this quest. But yeah, I do still have two potions. That's just peachy. Eight? Eight? I ate it when that happens. Eight? Oh. I'd be a little more upset, but clearly he just got 44. Oh, 51. What did I do to deserve this? Please block something. Anno kill. Surprise. Nice. 41. Not shabby at all. Nine. Nine and it was just one attack. It wasn't even the combo. Ah! Suck it! You missed. Consider that gap closed. Until he hits me for like... 73 damage, right? 66? Hey man, if you had a 6 at the end of it, you'd be back to full health. Seventeen. That was a little disappointing. Should have just thrown. I was gonna say it'd be pretty snazzy if he managed to uh, pull out a really hard hit to get the winning kill on his last enemy here for his quest. But I'm not gonna complain. All right. Da da da. For real. Another midway boss fight? God, why, why, why? Again, that would have been the perfect time to just let the quest end. <laughs> or get us to, like, the exit and cutscene, I mean. Not just let it end, like... But, like, give us the outro. I don't know. I don't think I could walk back through there either, because... Well, I think the bandits want to kill me now. 
right? Well, I guess they don't care. I'm going to maneuver my way back to the uh, little health pad that I ran over before. Which wasn't really... Oh. I thought that was further away than it was. Oh. I'm going to let that charge up for a second. I hope I wasn't waiting too long for that. I went to go slay the moth while my health was regenerating. It gave me a little resistance. Well, I was right. Sir Anno's quest line. Oh, what? Um, if I have to do this fight again, I'm going to be annoyed. Like, no joke, if that fight, if that boss fight respawns, I'll be a smidge upset. <laughs> okay, good. All right. <laughs> nice, 20 and 44. He was keeping that bandit's fingers message up there for a while. Alright, so I don't even know what could be... Am I going to have to fight someone else? I'm going to have to fight Fezzik, probably. They did kind of foreshadow the giant now that I think about it. But still. But still, it feels... It feels unnecessary to... Ugh. Whatever. The pacing of the missions gets better as we get, go along. I guess we have that to look forward to. I mean, it's not like the other... It's, it's even the missions in the prologue, like the Black Dragon Box stuff, wasn't paced bad at all. Though... Like all that stuff with Valencia, I got the, I, I got the stuff with Robina and Valencia done pretty quickly. And Warlakes, right as soon as it felt like it was going to drag on with, you know, four dungeons of... Oh, okay. Forget what I said. That wasn't that bad. Welcome back, Anno and Hunter. How nice to see you after all this time. Anno, I have to be honest, this last mission, dealing with that bandits... Dealing with bandits was something of a test. So repetitious. Followed you the whole time. Now, I'm not sure why Hunter came with you, but it looks like you didn't mind the company. Or, yeah, company. Did you want to break in the hue? Yes, yes. I'm sure you want to tell me about the details of your mission. But, Anno's, I have news, or Anno, I have news you'll want to hear. The king is here, and I have shared Sir Repetition's report. 
and the details of your last few trips with him. He's eager to meet you. I believe he and his daughter are about to sit down to a meal. Ceremony. Ceremony. I will announce you. Congratulations. You've come a long way. One more thing. After his highness is done with you, there's the bandit's loot to go through. I'd say you've earned your share. Oh, King Alcyon looks weird from over here. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, uh, hey. Over here. <laughs> look familiar? It's always good to see you. Sir Anno, I'm pleased to have you dining with us tonight, as are my daughters. I've heard quite a few stories from you, from Sir Amony. God, it's so hard to say that, like, without... He brought up... Uh, when he brought up Captain's Roll, Captain Rollett's request to have you presented. Especially after thwarting a kidnapping plot. Please allow me to introduce my daughters. At least the one who owes her well-being to you. It seems Brittany, my lovely <laughs> eldest. Brittany, my lovely eldest. Her clever little sister, Tara. And finally, my darling, Victoria. <laughs> Hello. Pleasure to meet you both. Good evening. I'm truly honored. Sire, I have dreamed about this moment for years, and to be honest, I have to thank Hunter without the help. Princess Victoria? It is Princess Victoria, right? Your Highness, it is good, so good to finally meet you. Er, yes, thank you. It's very nice to meet you, Hunter, for the first time. Ever. Anno, I'm sure you've heard the many stories about Her Highness's selfless charity work. Victoria, I didn't know you've been c c become involved with my charities. I'm not surprised. You always were a role model of selflessness. Oh yes, Your Highness, she's well known for her work distributing gold to the monks, the moneyless villagers, that is to say, the poorer townspeople. Gee, Vicky, it sounds like... It sound, that sounds a bit dangerous. Aren't you afraid of being waylaid by the lawless criminals? Your sister has a good point, Victoria. I'm familiar with some of the areas where our charities focus. There are some unsavory characters with complete disregard for the law. Ooh, wouldn't you be afraid if you, you'd be in danger? I'm sure your sister can handle yourself, my lady. I'm quite sure of it. Why did she come face to face with Robin of the Hood herself? and be in no more danger than she is now. You wouldn't want to borrow the mirror I have, would you, Victoria? Victoria, just what are you... What are Hunter and your sister implying? Father, I just... I... You just make it so that the adventurers who slay the monsters bothering the townspeople get a little something for their troubles, right? I mean, if Robin of the Hood... Or if you didn't do that... Being a hero would be much less profitable, wouldn't it? In the way I see it, that would be bad in a couple ways. Do continue because I'm very interested how you <laughs> do interested because I'm very interested in how you're going to rationalize one of my daughters supporting and even directly aiding crime. Gulp. Well, if heroes didn't see slaying monsters as profitable, the number of active heroes would decrease. That would do two things. It would make more trouble for your subjects, since monster attacks would become more frequent. And it would mean there would be few heroes spending their... Fewer heroes spending their hard-won gold in the shops and inns throughout your realm. So really, when you think about it, Victoria's actions as Robina benefit your kingdom's economy. You know, Anno, that, act that actually kind of makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, that's been my motivation the whole time. Helping the people. Snicker. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't say I entirely approve of your methods, but I am glad to see you taking an interest in the well-being of our subjects. Even if your attempts to aid them were rather... Sir, whatever. I don't feel like... I'm tired. We'll have to have a lengthy talk about what your plan, just what your plans for the future are, my girl. I highly doubt you'll attract a prince gallivanting around the countryside engaged in unsuitable activities. But as for you, Anno, you have quite the sharp mind. 
such an ability f to finesse the facts of a situation and present them in a good light. Well, I could have use for such a silver-tongued young knight at court. Service. Service is in charge of coordinating the knights who work directly for me. See him about the pu uh, positions as a public relations consultant. I have high hopes for you, young man. I'd be happy to show you around court, Sir Anno. I'm sure someone as brave and gallant as you are must have many stories to tell. Well, yes. Yes, I do. Speaking of stories, really, Victoria, some of the tales I've heard about your alter ego, I hope they aren't all true. Only most of them. <laughs> hey, you can stop helping. Now. Oh, are you sure? I could keep going. I've done so well with Anno, after all. Quite sure. He isn't quite... He is quite a knight, isn't he? As you wish, your highness. Bandit shop loot. Can I not scroll down? Oh, zero gold. Sweet. I'll totally buy that. Well, that's also zero gold? Sweet. As soon as I get level 15, I am going to be all over that one. Is it too much to ask for a level 10 item? Might as well uh, sell the rapier while I'm here. And that sash. Not interested in that. Complete quest. Scandalous. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Scandalous, this will set the townsfolk talking to be sure. Really, the only reason that I made a point to do Sir Anna's stuff was because the, uh, the first time I did the beginning, I managed to elude me for a long time that Robina was Princess Victoria because I didn't play to the end of that quest line. I only did, like, the first two. So, I figured that was a fun one. Of course, you could put it together as soon as you see her. I just didn't see her as Princess Victoria for a long time. God. Anyway, that concludes this nigh three-hour recording session that I'm going on. God, I'm a madman. Why? That quest... Those quests were unnaturally long for only being four levels. Anyway, thank you for watching. <sighs> Luckily for you guys, I'm not just getting broken up. Over at Crosslink. Got like at least a week and a half to two weeks of footage off of this alone. Not to mention the four that I have. Not to mention the four that I have um, already rendered. <laughs> wow, that just looks silly. Oh, I have to... Oh, that's infuriating. I can only hide things if I have the dragon in it? That's a bummer. Anyway. God, I'm getting sidetracked by the dumbest of stuff. As always, thank you for watching, and follow me to Apex.